everyone how are you doing so today I am doing a an unboxing video and I got some stuff from tester Korea and it's all in this box right here so yeah let's find out what I received I haven't opened it yet so <laughs> let's see I've ordered some stuff on Tessa Korea. Um, it was, I believe, around the. Hmm. I would say the 10th, around the 10th of July. And it takes them up to a week for them to process the order because they have to, like, gather all the products that you um, have ordered and then they'll they ship it out to you and I have the different shipping methods but I can get into that if you want into a separate video on how to order on tester Korea I have paid for everything that is in this box this ain't no sponsor video plus my ch my channel is pretty new so I would be surprised if I would get a sponsor video like right off the bat but it is not for the first time I ordered from Tester Korea and this is what's in the box. Yes, I've ordered just a bunch of like Yeah. Okay. The first thing is the It's Top Professional Eyebrow Maker. Let's see if my camera can focus on it. Yes. Um this is from It's Skin and it is an it is an eyebrow tint. And it's from the brand It's Skin, and it's in the color 03 Choco Brown. Let's open it up. Oh, is it too bright? Yeah, that no, should be fine. So this is what it looks like. I got it because my braids are sort of, uh, uh, sort of like an auburn brown, like sort of an auburn color and my eyebrows are really dark because I naturally have really dark hair like almost black but it's if you actually if I actually go in the sun it it looks like a really dark brown and that's why I got this eyebrow tint and this is what it looks like beauty guru <laughs> uh, this is what the color itself looks like and yeah the reason why I got it as I said is because of my braids and I need to I need my eyebrows to match a little bit the color of my braids right next thing I got whoops is oh this is the Innisfree auto eyebrow pencil Probably it's too light for this to see. Here you go. And it is in the color in the color espresso. Espresso brown. Yeah. Brown espresso. And yeah, it is in Korean it's called the Inisupri Napchak Eyebrow Pencil. And let's see, I'm, let, let me open it up and show you guys. Everything is really nicely wrapped and really like protected. So that's probably one of the things I like about Tesla Korea that everything is nicely wrapped so that even during shipping, what happens sometimes that mailmen don't really like care sometimes. They just throw boxes around and stuff can get broken or damaged. So this was really nicely wrapped in bubble wrap every single item is wrapped so it gets to you safely if I could open it so one side of it has a spoolie which I always need because my eyebrow hairs are really like rebellious and I always have to brush them in place hence why I got the um, the eyebrow gel because not only it tints my brows but it also keeps them in place 
and then uh, you got the pencil itself which is an angled tip which is really nice it's always a nice shape to have when you need to fill in your brows because it's really precise and at an angle when you keep it like this it allows you to fill in the gaps nicely or to trace your eyebrows however you need to let's see if I can show you the color oh okay as you can see this is the color it's a really dark brown because of course I have dark hair so I need to use a dark pencil Oh, next is oops my lip tint pack from Berrysum this thing has been all this thing has been all over the internet for a while everybody was doing the uh, what was it I think it was something like uh, peel off makeup type of thing and I was curious about it so I got my own this is in the color Dear Coral and basically what you do with this is you you apply it on your lips because it's like a it's sort of of a jelly consistency it's a gel and it oop, it's and basically all you want to do it's to put it on your lips apply it on your lips and let it dry I think it is supposed to take about 15 minutes to dry and all you do is peel it off and you will have a nice lip stain on your lips and it's supposed to be pretty long lasting so if you guys want I can test it out for you I don't know if you really guys if you guys really want to see that because it's pretty much all over the internet but let me know I can do that for y'all Next up we have, what is this, oh, <laughs> for a second I forgot what I ordered, I was like, what is this? Um, this, these are um, cushion puffs and cushion sponges replacements because I, I do my own BB cushion because as you can see, your sister is chocolate skinned, so I need to make my own because in Korea obviously they don't have dark shades so what I did is order a empty cushion case and then make my own baby cushion and if you want to see how I made it you can check up check out check out the link somewhere up here and it will directly send you to that video so these are the cushion sponges replacements. These are from Mimi Box. All right. So there are two sponges in here. There you go. These are basically the sponges that you put into the case, and it's the sponge that soaks up the product when you put it into the cushion case. And then. I got replacements because even though they're antibacterial, I don't really suggest using the same one over and over again even though you wash it because it wears out and at the same time it's not super hygienical so I would suggest you buy replacements. They're really cheap. Um, I think this was about 2001 which is pretty much a little less than two dollars so that's pretty good and then I got two air puffs one is from Innisfree and this one is from Iope these are probably my two favorite um, air puffs like from these two brands because um, they are pretty um, thick when I say thick they, uh, I mean they don't they don't feel flimsy and consequently they don't absorb a lot of product that it doesn't stay trapped in the sponge and also like you have you don't waste as much product so this one is the IOP one the typical blue air puff and I have an I already have an Innisfree one but and it's blue like the IOP one but this one I saw it and it's brown 
this one is from Innisfree. Comes in a packaging like this. And as I said, it's brown. So you can see that the Iope one is blue. This is the Iope one. And this one is the Innisfree one. And it's brown. But what I like about these is that they they have a nice and dense consistency. They're not hard, they're still pretty soft, but they make the the makeup apply really well. And <laughs> I'm just like ah. <laughs> They, as I said, they don't soak up as much product, so more goes onto your face and doesn't go to waste into the sponge. And by, consequ by con consequently, um, it is not as hard to wash it when you need to wash it after you have used it for a few times. Ooh, not one, not two. But, what is this? What are you doing? Three samples. Oh my god. There are... Okay, this is... Look at how cute the little sticker is. It is like a little thank you sticker from Tester Korea. And this is the Mizon Intensive Skin Barrier Eye Gel Mask. Whitening this deep moisture lifting care. That is a long ask name so this is the mask the packaging is really cute and it says a double eye zone mask that takes care of moisture layering and all over overall eye related troubles this is to moisturize the eye area which is which is good because it tends to like if it's dry that's when it starts wrinkling and stuff and you get little wrinkles here or an, and then your makeup creases there and it's not cute so you want to take care also of the area around your eyes when you do your skincare and i'm gonna try this out and see how it works next is this little bag of samples there are a bunch in here there is, I see in the back another, as you can see, there's another thank you sticker. Is it upside down? Yes. Um, I see, let me actually, let me open it up. Meanwhile, I have the, the lip tint drying on my, on the back of my hand. So this one is the Tony Moly Ferment Snail Cream. Anti-wrinkle whitening moisturizing. So it's a little simple, it comes like that. Um, a little disclaimer, when Korean products say, or like Asian in general say whitening, most of the time it's not meant to bleach your skin, but it's supposed to like brighten and even out your complexion. If, if you have like dull skin and stuff like that, this is a whitening product, that's what they're for. Or if you have like spots, uneven patchy skin, that's what's for. Then there is the skin food, rice mask, wash off. Food therapy, special food ingredients for the skin. Contains many nutritive ingredients such as fresh plants, fruits, etc. to keep our skin healthy. This is it. A wash off mask that transforms skin into a pure and soft texture and contains rice bran water. So this sounds interesting. I think I'm gonna try it tonight, actually. Then there's two more. This is a CC cream from Nature Republic. The Super Origin Complete Control Cream, and it's tinted, so I'm probably not gonna use it because of course it's not gonna be my skin tone. And then you have the Sum 37 is that how you pronounce it? I hope, I hope it is. Air Rising Perfect BB Cream, which, Sum, oh, Sum 37. 
<laughs> not some soon because the Korean character says it soon so soon 37 perfect BB and the, in the last sample pouch thingy I see more stuff do you see how many samples I get like what again another cute thank you sticker this is oh this is the first this is the first time I see this uh, product Yuja water serum oh it's all in Korean uh, Konjohan Hwangyo uh, Hwangyo eso Hwangyo eso Maril tum omnen chuk chuk subun serum. I'm not 100% sure of what I read. I know how to read Korean, but my vocabulary is not that um, extended. So, um, yeah. But it says here in the back that it is the Skin Food Yuja Water Serum with Brightening Effect. So I'll, I'm gonna try this out. Another Nature Republic CC cream, like the one I showed you before. Another Nature Republic CC cream. Oh, they're pretty much the same. Then the Zoom um, Perfect BB, and then the Tony Moly uh, Ferment Snail Cream. Then next, what do we have here? The Troy Aruke Skincare Mini Book. Um, this is a fairly new um, line, I think, like brand, I guess you can call, because um, it is a prescription cosmetic. So basically, it is skincare with, I think, is their makeup makeup stuff. It's like 99% skincare and 1% makeup. Um, how I know this is because I watch Edward Avila's uh, videos, which if you don't watch him, you really have to because it's probably one of my favorite um, beauty bloggers, vloggers, whatever. And he is so awesome and funny. I will link his channel in the description box below if you want to check him out. And yeah, there's a little pamphlet about the Troy Aruke brand and then in the back there is their Facebook and let's see this is probably something I would check out however from what I've heard it it is a little bit on the pricier side because there's supposed to be some sort of um, high-end skincare but apparently it's also really effective so uh, yeah, it is. I think it's especially formulated for people with uh, blemish slash acne prone skin, oily skin, or maybe if you have like a dry skin, but that sometimes that tends to break out. That's also um, good for you. And there's all the information here on the little booklet, all the information with their products and their Facebook page. So I might check it out and see what products they have and especially the price because homegirl is not rich okay and now ah, what I've been waiting for oh my gosh like I'm trying to get it out of the box but I'm like I don't wanna oh too late there you go oh my god the my lip tint pack i have showed you this this is a multi-pack but there's different colors in here and it was on sale i think it was like for like 50 percent off and i was like uh yes i'm gonna get this 
Um, there are one, two, three, four, five. Wait, one, two, three, four, five, six. There are six colors in here. So let's open it up and check them out. So this is the box out of the little plastic. The box is so pretty. And this is what it looks like in the back. So basically here it shows the application, you apply it, you let it dry on your lips, then you peel it off and then you have tinted lips. Here are the different colors and on this side, I don't know because I can't read Korean. Well I can read but I don't know what I'm reading. Let's open it. <gasps> Look at this oh my god you guys so the colors that are in here this is virgin red this is vivid scarlet lovely peach pure pink then bubble pink and sexy red ooh <laughs> so yeah these are the colors and hmm I also wanted to get the purple one but it was out of stock but oh my gosh like it is so pretty you guys I can't even deal <laughs> let's try let's try sexy red cuz why not oh look the one at the back of my hand is starting to peel itself because it's dry. Let's peel it off. I always liked peeling off stuff. 